Thank you so much, everybody, for coming out here today. The Black Bears have a very exciting announcement that we've just been waiting to share uh, with our fans here in the Southern Tier and in the 607. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to team president and owner Andres for a very ex exciting announcement. So, Andres? All right. Hi. Thank you, Brooksy, and thank you guys for coming out today and as well as anybody tuning in from home. We're uh, very happy, proud, and excited to be standing here today to announce that we've signed a lease extension between the Black Bears Hockey Club and Broome County, keeping us here at least through the 2026-27 hockey season and hopefully for many more years beyond that. We're incredibly grateful for the renewed confidence shown in us by the Arena Board, and we look forward to continue working hard to make you all proud and carry on the now 51-year-long tradition and legacy of pro hockey in Binghamton. We could not have asked for a better and more passionate fan base to play in front of every night, and we've managed to set a new standard for the entire league. At the risk of getting a little bit repetitive, I, I wanted to take a couple of moments to thank some of the people that have been instrumental in being able to allow us to get to this point and establish ourselves in this market. I want to start with our own staff who work day in and day out to create a great fan experience, build strong bonds with the community, strategize and work with our corporate partners, and have a huge role in building us into what we are today. Our coaches and players, every single one of them that's come through these doors, have worn the Black Bear jersey with great pride and have been great ambassadors, not just for the hockey club, but for our great city. The arena staff who work so hard together with us to make sure that we have delivered and continue to deliver the best fan experience anywhere in the league and that the facilities that we offer, frankly, have no competition elsewhere. The hockey community in Broome County and beyond, the STHA, the American Special Hockey Association, the Binghamton Blizzard, local rinks throughout the area, and everybody else that loves the game of hockey. We, we really thank all of you for becoming such great supporters, allies, and partners. Our corporate sponsors and partners who were willing to embrace and believe in our vision when we first came in, our goals and ideas, and we couldn't be where we are today without the support of all of you guys, and we wouldn't be able to continue to grow the hockey club. County Executive Jason Garner for being willing in 2021 to listen to our ideas, our vision, take a chance on us, and acting swiftly and decisively and saving hockey right here at Division's Veteran Memorial Arena. Jason and his staff throughout this entire process and the entire time we've been here have been very easy to work together with. Arena Manager Chris Marion for supporting us and help spearheading our initial expansion in here for providing invaluable advice and feedback as we initially get settled in and found our feet and for continuing to offer feedback and experiences with us every day. I also want to thank the entire arena board, the county legislator led by Mr. Dan Reynolds and the, all the county employees we've been in touch with throughout this entire process who made it so easy for us. Mayor Jared Cram for being a great friend and supporter and for all the work that you do and continue to do for the residents of the city of Binghamton every day. However, more than anything, um, I want to thank all of the great fans, Black Bear Nation, the greatest fans in minor league hockey. And if it weren't for you, we would not be standing here today and frankly, this organization would not exist. All of you who come out to the rink every weekend to follow the team, those of you who take time out of your daily lives to follow up to follow us and keep up with everything that we do, who've embraced our hockey team and our players in a way that we perhaps didn't even think was possible when we first came in. It's for all of you that we do what we do every day. I know when I first came in, I, I promised we'd bring a championship to the city of Binghamton, and that's not a goal or a vision. It's, it's what we expect, and it, frankly, it's what you all deserve. May, it may feel like uh, still a long way off, but we're actually less than 80 days away from the season opener, and we really can't wait to get things going again. This past season, we set an all-time attendance record for the league, welcoming more than 107,000 fans to downtown Binghamton and the arena, and it's something that we're working to further improve on 
as we go into this year. We're going to continue our successful initiatives, such as the 241 beer nights on Fridays, specialty jersey nights, opportunities to partake in post-game skates with players after certain home games. And we're going to continue working with our great food partners, American Food and Vending, to offer great value to all of our guests who choose to take advantage of concessions at the arena. With all that said, I'm going to wrap up my little monologue here and once again thank everybody for all the support. And I'm going to leave the floor to my great friend, County Executive Jason Garner. Thank you, Andreas. And thank you for believing in Broome County and Binghamton. Um, hi, everyone. Thank you. Uh, once again, uh, I want to thank you to the Black Bears and owner Andreas Johansson for inviting me and sharing this, being able to share this exciting news for Binghamton and Broome County today. Um, the Black Bears have been an absolutely phenomenal success story for the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena and really for all of Broome County. Um, for anyone who may not remember, two summers ago, our former team here left. No notice, no warning, just decided they weren't going to play here anymore. And knowing that Broome County hockey fans love coming to the arena to watch hockey games live, we immediately got to work to find a new team. In a really short amount of time, we had secured the Black Bears, and we have not looked back. Their attendance, and Andreas has, has talked about this, has been the best in the league. And here's something else that he didn't say that I think is really important to say. The attendance last year, 100, over 107,000 fans, was more than in the last year of our AHL team. I think that is really, really impressive. And I think that tells you how much the, the team, the owner, and the staff care about reconnecting with the community. Um, the games are action-packed, lots of scoring, and it's all priced right for Broome County families. I'm really looking forward to the upcoming season. If you haven't been to a game, which I think there's very few people in Broome County that haven't been to a game at this point, you won't want to miss the really fun, exciting experience that comes with Black Bears hockey. Thank you to the Black Bears for creating a great atmosphere and bringing back fans to our arena. And um, I just wish, you know, you guys success this year in the, the coming years and um, your success is our success and uh, it's been a great partnership with the community um, with the mayor with the city of Binghamton and the rest of, of the county and the hockey fans of, of Broome County I, I couldn't be happier with what's happened here over the last couple of years I'm really excited to see what, what holds for the future thanks again thank you And uh, next, we're going to have a couple of words from Arena Manager Chris Marion. Well, thank you. So as, as the county executive said, just over two years ago, we didn't really know where we were going to be with uh, this building, with professional hockey, um, and all of the other events that go on in this building. So uh, we're really thankful that we were able to put together a deal with the Black Bears. Um, as Andreas said, going from no team in the spring of two years ago to over 100,000 people last season and growing. Uh, and doing it in less games than the AHL had. Uh, we're really proud of that fact. We're proud of the direction that the team is going in. And want to emphasize that everything that happens in this building and at the Forum Theater is driven by the prime tenant of the arena, meaning uh, we have to have a professional hockey team here in order to have this building operating and all the services that support the other events that go on, whether it be adult league, ice rentals, youth hockey, uh, high school sports here, touring shows, and a lot of the same staff that runs this building runs the forum as well. So both buildings are really driven by the success of our prime tenant here, in this case the, the Black Bears. So we really are thankful that the team has done so well, that the competition level is ever increasing, that the businesses in uh, Binghamton and the surrounding communities support the team as much as they do, and that the players really connect with the fans. It's a level of connection that you did not see at the AHL level, at least in recent years. Um, but it's what drives that attendance, and uh, they're getting better every year. So uh, we're thankful to have the Black Bears here. We're thankful for the support uh, from the county that we keep having renewed investment in this building and from all of the services uh, from the city of Binghamton, too, that go into supporting uh, this building. It really is a, a team effort. So um, really happy with the direction ex exceeded all expectations from where we were two years ago. 
Um, and I'm look, looking forward to seeing what the third season and beyond hold. So, thank you. And uh, finally, we've got our mayor, uh, Jared Cram. Thank you. How about another round of applause for Andreas, the Black Bear staff? And look, I, there's a lot of people that work behind the scenes that help uh, put the product on the ice. It's the production staff, the folks who help out with, uh, with travel, or the front office, the people securing sponsorships, marketing. So it's really a team approach. And on the side of the Black Bears, everything that goes into uh, keeping a team here and making it successful, there's a, an equal uh, team on the county side with the county executive, the Broome County Legislature, and Chris Marion who are working and doing something that not a lot of communities can do, which is have a publicly owned facility that can uh, drive this amount of people into downtown Binghamton. Think about that, 100,000 people uh, a season, thousands of thousands per game that are patronizing our local small businesses, eating at restaurants, uh, driving revenue for, for everyone. And you know, that's really important. Without that type of, of activity, you know, our downtown businesses uh, wouldn't be successful. Uh, Binghamton, with its hockey tradition, with the long history of, of our community rallying to support hockey teams here, uh, the Black Bears are going to be taking this into the next uh, level. Uh, going to the games, there's a different energy. It's a different excitement. Uh, as the county executive said, it's high scoring, a uh, lot of hits a lot of uh, family-friendly activities that tie into the games that is really unique and during hockey season there is a buzz in downtown Binghamton when the Black Bears are in town and we can't thank the team enough. Uh, as mayor, one of the most important uh, selling points for our community is the vibrant local sports scene. The fact that we have highest level of, of minor league hockey, a highest level of minor league baseball uh, here at an affordable price that families can enjoy. Uh, we're really uh, thrilled for this lease extension, and as mayor, I'm really thankful to Andreas and the entire Black Bears uh, family here uh, that is putting their faith in uh, Broome County and the city of Binghamton. And Andreas, when we, uh, when we win the championship, we'll just have to plan out the parade route in downtown and lots right. of confetti. So very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, at this time, we're going to open up from questions from the media. So if anybody has a question, just go ahead and ask. Okay, so I'll ask, do you expect this announcement to spur any renovations within the next, I don't know, year or two uh, to help kind of, uh, I don't know, expand the fan experience at the arena? I'm probably not the one to answer that question, <laughs> I think. You want to yeah. yeah. Yeah, so... The, the county is continuously investing in this building. Announcements like this certainly do help. Uh, so we're always in the process of finding sources of funding for uh, fan experience enhancements, for facility enhancements, ways to reduce operating costs. As for major investments, um, I would say you're going to see more of a lot of routine maintenance being performed, and you're going to see in fan experience enhancements, but we're still waiting to hear on different federal, state, and uh, county level funding for the capital improvement side. Andreas, when you brought the team here two years ago, did you think it was even within the realm of possibilities that within two seasons you'd have over 100,000 fans in the building and that you'd be signing a lease extension for four or five years? Uh, personally, yeah, I thought, I thought we would, but I, I don't know how many other people did, right? I, you never know what you're going to get when you're coming into a market with such legacy of, of hockey at a very high level as Binghamton. Like I, as, as everybody saw, we had to do some work to win over the fans because obviously it's different from the AHL. But I think th there's a lot of factors to it, right? I think our, our lower ticket prices and a little more affordable, I think, helped. I think our, our players, every single one of them, they've kind of been, been picked also for their personality and ability to interact with fans. And you go outside our locker room after a game, I mean, it's there's a scene out there. I mean, we have to ring a bell after 30 minutes for the – the fans to go home, right? So the staff can go home. And, and I think that's been a big part. And I knew if we could if we could get fans to give us a chance and come out and watch the product and see what they thought, I really, really thought that we could do it. And I think we're while we've come a long way, like I don't want to spend all the time patting ourselves on the back. Like we still have a, a lot that we can improve on. Like we still want to draw more fans, get more businesses out, get even better with the fans, make an even bigger impact in the community. But certainly yeah I was always a believer, but I don't know. 
how many others were. But obviously, th these guys had confidence in us, and that's I kind of felt like we had to deliver on that promise. And once we got through the first year with the COVID and a little bit of you know the schedule wasn't as favorable, um, I think this year we certainly met the expectations we had, and now we're going to build on that. I guess I'll ask if a higher league AHL or ECHL team were to propose to come, would that at all supersede the lease agreement or nullify it whatsoever? Um, so um, the new lease is a little bit different. Uh, uh, an ECHL team would not um, be able to, to move us out. An AHL team, in theory, would, and so would an NHL team or an NFL team wanting to come in. <laughs> I think, well, I, I have nothing against those leagues, but, you know, one reason why we have been successful here is because the financial model of the league uh, allows us to have a team here, a competitive team, to invest into the product on the ice as well as off the ice. Um, the, the, the amount of money that you can generate from, you know, by, by AHL standard, a smaller arena and in a smaller city is limited. So I think, I think uh, both Jason and Chris made a very wise decision when they looked together with us at the numbers and we could show that, that the FPHL is the right type of product while the ECHL and the, and the AHL, um, the, the financial model just isn't there. Unless the taxpayers want to pick up a two, three million dollar bill every year to have hockey with maybe even less fans attending it, I think we're, we're going to stay where we are. But in theory, could an HL team come in? Yeah, but I don't. It's not something that keeps me up at night.